thing is launched live, baby. On deck! Oil forever. Wrote one last ride, but I'm also just trying to, you know, go out there and compete and give it the best every day I can. And now... The Austin High Maroon On Deck Show. It's our hardest and not leave any regrets when the final game's over. Just make playoffs win. And bring the team together so we can get more wins. Players, my teammates, we developed a really good relationship over the season. Brought to you by Plains Capital. Strong roots for a strong future. Financial products and services tailored to your needs. 8118 Dental Professionals. Dental care focused on whole body wellness. Sportsman's Barbershop. A friendly neighborhood barbershop. Horizon Bank. Since 1905, Horizon has been proud to work with local businesses across Central Texas and beyond. Hit Forth. At Hitforth, we're hardcore about data-driven player development. By Tate Property, exceptional homes, exceptional service, Perrytown Pharmacy, innovative care, timeless service, Nance Orthodontics, seamless state-of-the-art orthodontic treatment focused on you. And now to the Maroon Broadcast booth, here's David Roy and James Scott. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. David Roy, James Scott up here in the booth from Buta Johnson. And a little behind schedule, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. The uh, Mopac Expressway traffic was unkind to me this evening, so I apologize. But here we are, Buta Johnson. Last time out, Tuesday earlier this week, it was a close game. Looked like Austin High was going to secure the win, unable to close the deal as Buta Johnson was able to rally off five in the top of the seventh. And so we talk about that that loss. James, one of the biggest things we talked about pregame before we even got into this that we wanted to bring up is despite how things have looked of late, we are not out of this yet. That is a true statement. In 6A – Top four teams make playoffs. So right now you have Lake Travis in first at 6-0 and in district. Bowie second at 6-1 and tied with Dripping Springs. So those three spots are pretty locked in. What we're fighting for is that fourth spot. And right now we are two games out of that spot. And we've already played our entire series with two of the three teams that are you know pretty much a lock for playoffs so we are battling Anderson who is four and four Buta who's four and four and Westlake who's three and three they're all tied at fourth place we're right behind them at one and five so this game right here is a huge game coach A and I talked about going into this week we and next week we need to win three of four and we're in good spot Unfortunately, we didn't secure the victory on Tuesday, as you mentioned. So that puts the pressure on us tonight to go get this. But with our 8-13 and 13 record overall, Buda's 11-12-1 overall, we have a lot to play for right here, and this game is incredibly important. It doesn't get much bigger than the setup here ahead of us tonight. And especially you got to be thinking that after a heartbreaker that you experienced on Tuesday, you want that to change coming in here tonight. You want to right what really feels like a massive wrong, a, a missed opportunity on Tuesday. You can't afford to let another one go by. Yeah. Our guys seems to me like we need to find the determination and the perseverance to go get the victory. We're just not closing things out. We've lost probably four to five games this year that we had a lead late, and we let it slip away in the last inning or two, that it's just a hair difference between closing those out for victories and not, and we've got to find a way, dig down deep. We talked about getting the dog in you a little while ago, a couple of games ago. We have got to find that right now. This team has got to believe they have the talent to do it. What I think they're missing is just that core belief that they can. They haven't 
seen that success yet, so therefore they don't believe. We need a victory tonight, and hopefully that can turn these guys. Playing on all turf field here tonight, the Austin Maroons coming out. They've got their uh, great pants on right now, looking up, warming up right now. Uh, we will get you here. 73 degrees, beautifully sunny skies right now, not a cloud to be seen. There is a nice 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the south from our direction here. It's kind of blowing back towards that left center corner uh, of the back fence right now. So we're going to pay some bills and then you'll hear from Coach A and some of the players. We'll take a quick break. At Horizon Bank, we're from here. With over 100 years of experience serving Central Texas customers and headquartered right here in downtown Austin, we are proud to support our community and the athletes who keep it strong. Stop by any of our Austin and Central Texas locations and see how we can help you meet your goals. We'd love to meet you. Or you can visit us on the web at horizonbank.com. My missing teeth were in the front. I fell off a roof, messed up my teeth. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. When I first came in, it was so welcoming. I just felt a connection, felt like family. It is worth every penny because you get that peace of mind that everything is okay. I can't stop smiling. Why wait? From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. I just felt a connection, like family. I can't stop smiling. From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. Cheer on your Austin High School baseball team and enjoy the spring season with ease thanks to Terrytown Pharmacy. We're not just a pharmacy, we are a neighborhood health hub offering prescription services, immunizations, home delivery, and a charming selection of gifts for any occasion. Whether you're celebrating a win or supporting a player, find the perfect gift and keep your health in check at Terrytown Pharmacy. Let's celebrate health, wellness, and community spirit together. Nance Orthodontics is committed to providing the highest quality orthodontics for the Austin community. Dr. Nance is a board certified orthodontist and offers Invisalign and braces to create beautiful smiles. Our friendly team is passionate about creating beautiful, life-changing smiles for all ages. With the latest technological advances, patient comfort and happiness are our highest priority. Give us a call for your complimentary consultation today. All right, we're back here in the Maroon On Deck show with Mr. Personality himself, Charlie Reeves. Charlie, man, you've been hitting like a hit machine, like Tony Gwynn up there. Three for your last six. What's going on, man? Is it your Wheaties? What are you doing? You know, I'm just working hard in the, uh, in the cage, just getting cuts in, making sure stuff feels right. And just, my approach is better going up to the plate. You know, you got to – you walk up to the plate, you got to expect yourself you're going to hit. You can't be scared at all. And then if you have the right mindset – like it'll do the rest for you yeah yeah i mean it's senior year man give it all you got right so you actually drove in the two runs that led to the win our last game kind of got us off that losing string how'd that feel it felt great we losing is no fun for anyone and it felt great the whole club was kind of down after after that second day especially and we just i mean as a couple of seniors talked like we had to we had to change something we're not losing it's senior year and the opportunity presented itself, and I, I attacked at it. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so you got to tell me. you got to tell me. I, what was it, the game before last, or at least the day before uh, the break, you had this 18-inch bunt. So from the booth, you hit it, went up straight up in the air, and I think my initial response was, oh, no, because I imagined them catching the ball and doubling off, I believe it was Ty on third, which would have been a complete disaster. So tell us about it. it. Was a squeeze, if I understand. And <laughs> what were you thinking? Uh, Coach A always talks about like the opportunity is going to present itself, and you got to take advantage. And Ty Schreiber was on third base, and I get the uh, the bunt call, which is squeeze. So I knew I had to get it down, and I uh, it did. Go and you up. popped it up. I it, it did go up. I was a little nervous about that, but it dropped, and then 
And then I got sent to second, and then they overthrew second, and I'm running, tired, and I get home, and everyone was there. It was, it was a great feeling. So, you so the first who was coaching first on that one? That was uh, Coach Riley. Oh, so Riley was there, so he sent you immediately because it honestly was it was brilliant because everybody was fumbling around the ball at home, didn't quite know what to do, and you just kept going. And the pitcher, I think, air mailed second base, ball went straight out to center. Sure. Just kept running, never stopped. Yes, it was very tiring. <laughs> Come on, man, that's only like 360 feet, brother. Come in, you got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, very good. Good luck tonight against uh, Bowie. And best of luck the rest of your senior year. Sir, thank you. Thank you. We'll be back right after these messages. Do you need a haircut? A real haircut? One that's tapered or blocked, clipped or trimmed just the way you like it? Come let the licensed barbers at the Sportsman's Barbershop take care of you. The Sportsman's Barbershop is a friendly, no-frills neighborhood barbershop located in Austin's Brikerwood area. Our barbers specialize in traditional haircuts for men and boys, along with beard trims and straight razor shaves. The trophies and mounts donated by customers that line the barbershop walls serve as testaments to over 60 years of serving Austin. Give the guys a call, 512-459-9525 to schedule Schedule your appointment today or look us up online at sportsmansbarbershop.com. The Sportsman's Barbershop, an Austin institution. Get a win right here. As simple as playing baseball. Stay focused, Dial then. This is Jake Beck. Hey, Beck fires it over to third, and yes, the tag sir. is there! It's Nate Goulding. It's a great Goulding. Daryl Jones. Oh, oh, oh. This is Aiden Leonard. Leonard sends one to right field. This is Luke Pazanka. He got him. This is Charlie Reeves. Gonna bring home Reeves safe! I'm Jack Unberhagen. A three-run shot by Lumberjack Unberhagen. As he this is Jaden Bessa. Coach A sending him. This is Logan Kenny. He sends a shot to the outfield. This is James Scott. He yes. Toledo, James Scott! Austin High Baseball Play-by-Play -play is brought to you by Plains Capital. Strong roots for a strong future. Financial products and services tailored to your needs. 8118 Dental Professionals. Dental care focused on whole body wellness. Sportsman's Barbershop. A friendly neighborhood barbershop located in Bryker Wood at 3702 Jefferson. Horizon Bank. Since 1905, Horizon has been proud to work with local businesses across Central Texas and beyond. Hitforth. At Hitforth, we're hardcore about data-driven player development. Nance Orthodontics. Seamless, state-of-the-art orthodontic treatment focused on you. Terrytown Pharmacy. Innovative care. Timeless service. By Tate Property. Exceptional homes. Exceptional service. Celebrating 125 years of Austin High Baseball. Let's go! And he drops it. Run comes across. What just happened? That's what I'm talking about. Win! Once again, David Roy and James Scott. Welcome back in, David O'Reilly, James Scott up here in the broadcast booth. Well, just outside of the broadcast booth rather tonight, but enjoying the cooler night air. No inclement weather that'll impact us this evening, so not too bad here. Your starting lineups tonight, Javi Godinez, followed by James Scott, Aiden Leonard, Osby Contreras, Luke Pizanka, who will also be starting the night on the mound, followed by Ty Schreiber. Jack Umberhagen, Jane Besa, and Charlie Reeves will round out your starting lineup for Austin High. 
Beauty Johnson on the other side. Gonna have Garrett, Oaks, McLean, your top three, followed by Thornton, Cohen, and Mateo. And then Gonzalez, Schnabel, and Plummel with Dursky on the mound. You did see Dursky in the game on Tuesday, so I'm not sure where he fits in their lineup, but. Well, and one of the bigger changes from an Austin High standpoint, Logan Kenny has been pulled from the lineup, and then Charlie Reeves gets bumped down from the six hole to the nine hole. Besa takes Schreiber spot at eight, Umberhagen stays at seven, and Schreiber moves up to six. Yeah, so we'll have Godinus at short, Scott catching, Leonard in left, Contreras yeah. DHing. We have Pazank on the mound, as you mentioned, Schreiber in center at six hole, seven hole Lumberjack, Jack Umberhagen in right field, Besa hitting eighth and at first, and then to your point, Reeves at second. So Kenny's actually playing third again, and hitting for him is Contreras. Yeah. Now we're just seconds away from the national anthem, but again, we cannot underscore the importance of this game. We really need a bit victory right here, and we can play with these guys. We can do this. Yeah. Well, and that was evidenced, you know, earlier this week, right? On Tuesday night, you showed it, got out to a really strong start, 3-0, and then unable to close the deal. Can you close the deal tonight? Here's the national anthem. Seventy three degrees, sunny skies is how we get our night set. The stage has been set for Austin High to make a little noise in the district. We've talked about it, we have harped on it. This game is as close to important as you could possibly get. I don't want to throw out necessarily must win but we're getting into must win territory as the schedule begins to shorten. Your opportunities become a little bit more limited to climb up the ranks of the district. And what we must do is we must score some runs. Our team so far is hitting 233 on the season. We, our team on base percentage is 340. OPS is only 638. So if you look at our team, We've had some base running challenges before. It looks like we got that taken care of. We had some defensive lapses. It reared its ugly head a little bit on Tuesday, but for the most part, it's been okay. Pitching's been rock solid as expected. We got to get the bats going. Just kind of like on Tuesday, I thought getting out to a 3-0 lead was going to really be the momentum turner for us. Didn't turn out to be that way, but here at Buda's home, good thing to get out in front. Well, and we all kind of thought that, that was going to be the case, right? We expected coming in, okay, you jump out 3-0. And for a while there, it looked like, you know, Buta Johnson was put on tilt, right? Your opening pitcher to start the night for Buta Johnson was Jane Lopez. Got taken out early in the first inning. Like, it got to be that rough for him. 
Then you put in uh, DJ Guerrero. Guerrero kind of shortens it, things up a little bit, able to help close things, keep the runs limited. And then slowly but surely, Buta Johnson was able to claw their way back into this. Let's see if we can't launch our way into this one. Javi Godina stepping in hit 259, 353 on base percentage and was on base all four times last game. It'll start here. Take this one, strike one. The wind up on the 0-1. This one gets popped over to short, throw over to first. Safe. He's Not safe. in time. Yes, infield and single, baby. Bobby Godina is picking up right where he left off, getting things rolling with the base hit. All right, now stepping in the Sarge, James Scott Jr., our leading hitter, 353, 352 on the season, 435 on base percentage, 19 hits. This is his 21st game played and his 63rd plate appearance right here. It was two of four on Tuesday. They'll take this one. 68 mile an hour curve. And doesn't find the zone here. So coming up 1-0. Throw back over to first. Scott drives this one right over to short. There's a throw over to second. Oh, my God. And they're going to hit him with a cool little double play there to net the out for both Godinas and Scott. Man, that was a rough call. That was a very rough call. That's all right. I tip the hat to Oaks over there at second base for Buta and turning that. I didn't think they had a chance in the world of getting that double play at the beginning. Now that's Aiden Leonard. Takes a ball outside. Leonard stepping in, hit 304 on the season, 407 on base percentage. Comes back 1-1. One, one. There you go. Get Aiden down. Leonard. Puts this one into right field, and that'll go for a nice little base hit. Where that double play really hurts now. Yeah, you got to think right now, without that double play, you'd be sitting here, maybe bases loaded. At the worst, you'd be sitting here, maybe a runner at first and second, maybe even. You could have a runner at the corners. He probably would have scored on that one. Yeah. Now, stepping in now is uh, sophomore Osby Contreras. He's second on the team in hitting at 310. Takes a 67 mile an hour curve for a strike. I'll go down 0 1. He's got a on base percentage of 364. Got nine hits overall. He's played really, really well, especially hitting this year. Takes the 0 1 pitch, lets it go by, goes 1 1. You know, anytime you get performance out of sophomores, that is a great thing because you don't build teams really expecting right. that. And now he's, he's moved all the way up to the four hole. And he'll chop this one right back over to short, and that will retire the side. So making contact, though, your first four, all of them able to make contact and make some hits, but really decent job here keeping things short, shallow, and that shortstop keeping him busy as we take a quick break. Tied at nothing going into the bottom of the first. Do you need a haircut? A real haircut? One that's tapered or blocked, clipped or trimmed just the way you like it? Come let the licensed barbers at the Sportsman's Barbershop take care of you. The Sportsman's Barbershop is a friendly, no-frills neighborhood barbershop located in Austin's Brikerwood area. 
Our barbers specialize in traditional haircuts for men and boys, along with beard trims and straight razor shaves. The trophies and mounts donated by customers that line the barbershop walls serve as testaments to over 60 years of serving Austin. Give the guys a call, 512-459-9525, to schedule your appointment today, or look us up online at sportsmansbarbershop.com. The Sportsman's Barbershop, an Austin institution. Welcome back in here, Buta Johnson, David Roy, James Scott up here in the broadcast booth. Austin High gets your top of the first going pretty quickly, but just unable to make much magic happen. Few base hits, shortstop kept busy. That double play, though, really set them from being able to score any kind of runs there to open up the night in the same fashion that they did on Tuesday. I'll see if Austin High can replicate that kind of success with Luke Pizanka at the mound. Yeah, cool hand Luke Pizanka on the mound. 14 and a third innings pitch. This is his third game start. He's 0-2, one save, one save opportunity, giving up 20 hits. They called strike right there. He struck out 18 and walked seven. So he struck out 18 and 14 in the third innings. And he'll come back, strike two. He works very quick. He's an infielder's friend out there. He gets the ball, gets going. Throws a lot of pitches with movement. That's a 75 mile an hour cutter right there. It'll stay anywhere from the low 70s to the mid 80s, depending on the pitch. That's why another one skips its way to the mound. It's a second one in a row that has had to skip its way over. Yeah. Started off 0-2, now we're back, back to 3-2. The payoff pitch coming right here. Here's Pizanka with a 3-2 wind up. Ah. And it's a bit high. Well, you hate to see that, especially getting out and way out in front. You know, you start nibbling around the corners or whatever. Obviously, some of those pitches got away from him. Uh, but then to lose him on four straight. Now, they turn to double play on us. It's our turn. To Turn around and do the same thing. 100%. Gadina is your shortstop. Yeah, this should be Oaks, I think. Brindley Oaks, maybe yeah. second baseman? Yes. Throw back here over to first, real quick. Should be Brindley Oaks. That's what I've got. Okay, here. perfect. All right. Just make sure we're aligned. <laughs> you know, interesting. They don't have a. Uh, uh, pitch count out on the scoreboard. They do not. So I've been having to try and keep track of things manually. That will go for a ball. 1-0. Hey, wherever you are in the world, pull up a chair. Enjoy some maroon baseball. We're just underway. All right, that's, that's six straight balls. You got to dig down and find it. Got to believe the take sign is on here. I come with a heater right down the hole. Uh, that one's another ball. I'm not sure Luke throws anything straight. So <laughs> that was 79. May I don't know, maybe a, a change or something kind of running in or, or tailing fastball. Maybe that's a two-seamer. So you got 3-0 count here, hitter's count. Yeah, I got to believe the take signs all the way on at this level. A two-hole hitter, so he's a he's a sacrifice guy, a guy that hits behind the runner. Going to take a lot of pitches. So, well, they had the bunt sign on initially. I got to think that's gone now. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, here he is. Oaks. Uh, 81 fastball. Pizanka finds his own there, so we come back three-one. 
Still in a good situation here if you're Oaks. Kenny closing in at third. And Ooh. that'll walk Brindley Oaks. Now, when Josh Willard was here, he had to deal with the team that if they turned a triple play, they're going to have a pizza party on him. Is David Roy up for such a challenge? Uh, we might be. <laughs> we might, we might be. be. Uncommittal we might be. as ever, uh, exactly, Mrs. Roy. Exactly. <laughs> He's trying to think, I will, how I will many not, pizzas is that? I, I will not be writing any <laughs> checks that I cannot cash. Okay. That's the moral of the story Smart here. Smart man. Mm. All right, so this is uh, Ethan McLean, their shortstop, who had so much work in the top of the first. Now we got to find it right here. Another pitch inside. All right, Coach A calling time to go out and talk to him. That's good. You had to burn a mound visit this early in uh, the game, but this game is so important, you've right. got to. You know, he's thrown, uh, what is that about? That's eight, ten, ten of eleven of last pitches have been balls. So just time to regroup. Let's go ahead and set the maroon defense while we can. So we got uh, Pazanka on the mound. Scott is battery mate catching. First base, we have Jaden Besa. Second base, Charlie Reeves, Mr. Personality himself. Third base, Logan Kinney, the babe. Shortstop, Javi Godinas. Outfield, left to right, Aiden Leonard. Ty Schreiber and Lumberjack, Jack Umberhagen in right field. Here's Pizanka, 2-0. Comes Got back, puts it into the zone. Up to 15 pitches thrown here for him in the first inning. For comparison, Dursky came away with 10. Here's Pizanka, the windup. Popped high. And James Scott gets underneath it. That's a big-time play. That's a high pop fly. I wasn't totally sure. The wind, I think, catches it and keeps it on the play side of the net there. So, Hey, on a play like that, not a cloud in the sky, that clear blue sky can be a yeah. little bit uh, perceiving depth perception issue here, especially at twilight. So nice job with him going and finding that ball and making the out. And hey, we're one pitch out of this inning right here if we can get a ground ball double play. That 75 cutter misses. 1-0 count here for great or for uh, Grayson Thornton. Yeah, he's playing right for them. It's 84 mile an hour fastball. That one misses also. 2 0. Luke does throw a lot of ground balls. Let's see if he can keep it low, get him to ground into one here. Uh, that's going to go down as a pass ball. Should have had that one. That's a big pass ball right there because now base hit scores two and takes off the double play. Yep. So we need infield comes in. We need a pop-up or a strikeout. Only one out. High pitch here. Comes back, 3-0. That walks, no, walks him. Actually, yeah, it's no, that walks with him. that pass ball. All right, so the only positive thing about that is it does put the force back on. So now we're back in play with the double play. I would expect the corners to come home and then first to cut off the run. We'll see how Coach A plays it in the middle. You'd be tempted to play short and second. Godinas and Reeves back, and it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Gives him ability to have a little bit more range out there get to more balls. 
Zonka, another ball thrown. This is Cohen at the plate right here, coming up 1-0. Cohen, the first baseman, hitting out of the five hole. Big kid. Base has got to be on his toes over there at first. Sonica finds the zone that time. One one count here. Pizanka, the wind up. Swung on, missed. A one two count. No strikeouts recorded yet for either side. Let's change that right here. Pizanka. The one two, the delivery. Low, little check swing here. This one popped in the center right. Mm. Range and back couldn't get to it. That'll drive home two. The throw, ambitious. Going to get all the way to center. And that'll score three. It's Cohen with a massive triple. Oh, Coach Hayes coming out. That's a quick hook on Luke. You only get two mound visits on the yeah. second one. you got to take him out. So this is going to be, looks like Fletcher Wilson. Oh, man, you hate to see that for Cool Hand Luke. Now, Fletcher Wilson, been a little bit since he pitched, but he is leading the team in victories. And one thing we have to remember is Buda got off to a 3-0 start mm -hmm. In Tuesday's game. Austin High got out to the 3-0 start. I'm sorry. Start. You're good. Yes, you're right. Austin High got out to 3-0 uh, start, and uh, Buda came back and won that game. So we're not out of this yet. Now, um, Fletcher Wilson on the mound. He's a junior. He started three games. He's thrown 14 and two-thirds innings. He's three and one on the season. Three wins, one loss. No saves, no save opportunities. Giving up eight hits, seven runs, five earned, five walks, 17 strikeouts. Hit one batter. So he struck out 17 in 14 and two-thirds innings. And what we need is a big couple outs right here without going down anymore. So Luke Pizanka will end the night 23 pitches thrown. For reference, you talk about flipping the script a little bit. On Tuesday night, Jaden Lopez came out of the game with 28 thrown. Well, I, I hate to see that for Luke. I know he's been working on things that just didn't seem like he had it uh, tonight. I mean, it's just uncharacteristic, I guess. Well, and, and sometimes you just have it. Sometimes it's just not your night. You're not seeing it through. You're not finding the zone well enough. It's not, for whatever reason, sometimes it's just not coming off the hand right. Yeah. It's not It's not breaking the way you ha you'd like it to. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yep. So we do have a defensive change with Wilson taking the mound. Nice stop by James. My gosh. Pizanka comes over to play third. Pizanka replaces Kenny. So Kenny yep. is now out of the game. Remember, in high school, they can always re-enter. But he is out of the game right now. Fletcher. Oh, he didn't get the call. No. Misses with both. It's about the time my wife's glad I have a headset on. <laughs> I'm not chirping. Oh. Comes back, misses the zone again. All right, we need to 
focus and get this hitter here because we we walk in, we're gonna have first and third some sort of play on. You got gotta believe it. Infield is in. And that'll walk him. So Monteo comes over to first. Coming up here, Gonzalez. Runners at the corners, thanks to Cohen's triple. Uh, it was a three RBI triple. Yeah. Yeah, this is the polar opposite of what we needed to start this game. Right. But again, we've been talking about finding the dog. You've got to find the determination to get out of it. If not, it's going to be a really long evening. Yeah. Here's Wilson coming back strong here. Quick strike. There's no place to hide here. We got to come back and do this. Pitch number five there for Fletcher Wilson. This will be pitch number six. And there'll be a little indifference here as Mateo comes up with second. That's the right play. But runners in scoring position, second and third. And the 0-1 comes back outside, down low, 2-1. And this one just gets a piece of it, sends it foul, comes back, strike two with a 2-2 two -two count. Still only the one out. And we are into our seven hole. Gonzalez gets a piece of that one. Chops that one foul. Wilson, the 2-2 windup. This one driven out into center right. That's one away. And then the throw over to third is not in time. Good range out there by Ty Schreiber. Getting the second out of the inning. Is sack fly, actually. So that makes a score four to nothing. But gets you the other out. This is Thomas Snobbel. Center fielder hitting in the eight hole. Downs the ball, just missing. Uh, come back, boy. Really having that, a tough time finding the strike zone. Yeah, that was that was a squeeze job. Looked like a beautiful curve to me at 67. Didn't get the call. I mean, the way it's looking, gonna need GPS to find the strike zone here tonight. Is this one a little grounder over to second, throw to first in time, and that will retire the side. So we come to the end of one. View to Johnson. Comes up four nothing, heading into the top of the second. As Austin High will see Luke Pizanka coming to the plate to get us started when we return. Real estate companies come and go in Central Texas about as fast as the wildflowers in spring. But when you're looking for a house, you're looking for a place to put down roots, a place to call home for years to come, which means you need a realtor with roots in the community like Tate Property. Tate Property is a family owned real estate brokerage located in Terrytown. We grew up here, we live here, and we work here, representing buyers and sellers of Austin's finest luxury homes, investment properties, and farm and ranch retreats. This is our passion. Give Tate Property a call at 512-474-8283. 
That's 512-474-TATE. Or look up online at TatePropertyCom and let us know how we can help you today. Tate Property, exceptional homes, exceptional service. Welcome back in. David Wright, James Scott up here in the broadcast booth. Beauty Johnson takes an early 4-0 lead there in the bottom of the first, and we saw a pitching change with Fletcher Wilson replacing Luke Pizanka. Pizanka, interestingly enough, steps in to hit here. He's at 237 so far this season, 396 on base percentage. Swings and misses at that. We can't close the book on his mound performance. Pitched a third of an inning. Gave up only one hit, and that was a big one. That's a ball there. Walked three. Gave up four runs, four earned. But now it's time to do some damage with the bat. And Pizanka slashed that one foul. Down the third base line. I went back, did the math, it's 12. So we're right. We split the difference here okay. for Fletcher Wilson. Okay. This one. Pizanka there you go. Finds a center right field Shoot again. Shoot the gap. Go. And Pizanka rounding first. And we'll beat the throw over to second. So a nice double to get this second inning started here from Luke Pizanka. Hey, that's just what the doctor ordered. We needed to get our leadoff guy on and line drives, shoots the gap over there for Pizanka. Gets him his second double of the year. Brings up Ty Schreiber. Schreiber, 292 on base percentage. This is his 14th game, 27th plate appearance right here. He's got a double, two RBIs, five runs scored. It was 0 of 3 on Tuesday night. Had a couple flyouts into the outfield and then struck out once. And Ty here goes down 0 1 off the foul. So it looks like they're going to play that where the third baseman plays close to the bag. So the pitcher's got to cover that. Mm. Say found the zone. That is 83. Quickly in 2 yeah. Let's see if he chokes up. Looks like he is. Thank God. Love it. Ty Schreiber. There you here. go. Contact. Oh, no. Hit Luke. it in front of Pizanka, and that'll get the out. It will allow Schreiber to get over to first on the base hit, but. That's a play we just can't make. The rule is if it's in front of you, if you're on second yeah. base, anything to your right, you have to hold. Make them make the throw all the way across the diamond. Yeah. We just That shortstop was not going to throw out Schreiber no, with his no. speed. So that uh, we just can't have that. We can play better. So one away, up to the mound now. Jack Umberhagen chops that one. Gets it past first base and Schreiber rounding over to third and he'll come to a halt. Boy, now how does that force out over at third look or fielder's choice over at third yep. look now? Up comes Jaden Besa. All right. Base is in with a 315 on base percentage. A double on the season, four RBIs, five runs scored. One out. Pitch fouled off here by Besa. Put him down 0 1. Charlie Reeves 
on deck, and then you flip around to the top of the order, Godina, Scott, and Leonard. This pitch comes back, and that's going to find the zone. Bases played in 20 games. 20 of our 21. One two count here. Runners at the corners, Unberhagen and Schreiber. Looks like he's choking up too. That's good to see. Besa. There you go. Finds a gap right there. That'll drive in the run. Nice job of hitting. That's a great two strike approach. You choke up on the bat, you just put the ball in play, and you got a CNI single. Good job, Jaden Besa. That's a little RBI single, and then up comes now Charlie Reeves. He'll be at the plate here. Unberhagen advances over to first, or to second rather, sorry. And then base, obviously that base hit, able to find first. Not to harp, but base running mistake. And, yeah. Cost us, now that's, it'd be four to two. It could be four to two. And we would two. have no outs. Instead, it's four to one, one out. Now you do have two runners there on the base pass. Your tying run would be coming up to the plate right now in Charlie Reeves. And we've seen Reeves with a bases clearing 18-inch hit earlier this season. Yeah. He's standing in, hitting an even 300, 389 on base percentage. Nine hits, a double, seven RBIs, four runs scored on the season. Bunt call is on. The throw over to third. I don't think it's in time. Yeah, he called him out. They're going to say it's out. Wow. Yeah, we bunted it right back to the pitcher. You need to get that down the line to have a chance to get that play done. So that was an easy one to five yep. score. So Unberhagen is out at third. Besa moves up to second. Reeves is at first now, and we return to the top with Javi Godinas. Yes. Godinas led off the game with a base hit. It was the front end of that double play by Scott, the following hitter. 1-0. -oh. There you go. Score another one. Got to send him. Gets go. it into the gap. Get Charlie. Go send Charlie home. Godinas pulls to stop here at second, and that'll do it. How about that? How about that, Javi Godinas? Line drive, double to right center. Stayed on that ball. Drove in two. Fantastic job of hitting. And so up comes James Scott. Your tying run is sitting there at second. Base hit ties his game. Yep. Obviously got good speed out there. Scott 0 for 1, grounded in double play. There that's another single. Oh, no, that's oh, get there. Safe. safe. He's safe. Wow. Should have been safe last time, yep. too, but that's okay. There you go. Way to haul it down first base line, Sarge. That's what happens when you have some speed. That was a heck of a play by Oaks just gloving that and keeping yep. it in the infield. That's an impressive job. It bounces over to first, so he can't get Scott out, and then they try to make that throw all the way across over to third. And unable to do so. So up comes now Aiden Leonard. And Aiden Leonard, he's one for one. Pulled that liner down right field line last time up. Runners on the corner. We'll see what happens with Sarge over here. Notice the coach is not courtesy running him, which is no. a great thing. He is your fastest man on the team. So says the 60s at tryout. This will be pitch 29 here for Dursky. There you go. And this one. Driven out into center, oh. and he can't get it to sit down. He teed off on that ball. It was a sinking liner out to left, left center field, and the center fielder makes a great running stop. But way to tag that ball, Aiden Leonard. So Austin High closes the gap. It's now 3-4 to four with Buta Johnson in the lead, but three runs scored 
as Luke Pizanka got it started and then base hits just going down the line there. Two RBI double there for Javi Godinas and then Besa with an RBI single. That's how we get to three, bottom of the second when we return. My missing teeth were in the front. I fell off a roof, messed up my teeth. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. When I first came in, it was so welcoming. I just felt a connection, felt like family. It is worth every penny because you get that peace of mind that everything is okay. I can't stop smiling. Why wait? From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. I just felt a connection, like family. I can't stop smiling. From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott up here from the broadcast booth. Austin High, big top of the second inning, driving in three. The tying runs got left out there. Ian Leonard almost could just got to sink maybe just a touch sooner. Could have had the minimum tied it up, maybe even taken a lead, but instead you're a run shy now. Coming into the bottom of the second with Fletcher Wilson. With all that, though, I love to see the fight. We actually came back. We've been talking yeah. about showing the dog. That was some dog right there. You know, you could easily run, rolled over and let this game yes, get out of hand, but you exactly showed right. some fight. You came back. It's a one-run ball game. Let's go. So here's Fletcher Wilson. He'll get us started with a strike here. This is Plummer. At the plate. And the 0 1 windup, that one bounced off his plumber's helmet, and he will take first on the hit by pitch. And so another quick conversation here with Scott and Wilson. We move back to the top of their lineup. Garrett and Oaks, their one and two hitters, both walk to lead off the game against Pazanka. Let's see if we can get a little ground ball double play here. Wilson, this one gets popped up. There you go, Javi. Javi Cadenas able to snag that one. Looks like he was uh, well, not sure how hard <laughs> that ball was hit off the bat. And I tell you, the toughest play to make is that line drive right at you and reading, is it sinking, is it rising, or coming straight on the line. And he read that ball perfectly. Great job out there, Javi Cadenas. Pitch number 15 for Fletcher Wilson here tonight. Here comes pitch 16, oh, runner, and he will get to second pretty easily there as that pitch well outside Scott's arm length there. Yeah, that's a wild pitch. I think that ball was on the right-hand side of the left-hander's batter's yep. box. Just a little bit outside. Could have had a 10-foot pull, and I don't know that James could have reached that. Let's come back and get a strike here. A 1-0. -oh. That one high nice. and inside, and that'll advance the runner over to third. Getting a little out of control here with some of these pitches. A little wild. Boy, you're talking about the difference between that those two. That's probably a 10-foot okay, difference in span, at you know. Least. Another Is quick it? meeting here between Scott and Flo Wilson. Yeah, we just calm our nerves. You know, we, we're back. We're in a game, or within a run. You got a long way to play. Everybody calm down. Lock in, lock out. Lock in on what you're supposed to do. Lock out all the other noise. Adrenaline, fears, anything else that's working against you. 
Focus pitch by pitch on what you're supposed to do. Now we got a runner at third, one out, so we need a pop-up or a strikeout here. Infield is in. 2-0. Comes back, 3-0. Throw. He's safe. He's going to be safe there. So I ought to give Buta Johnson a two-run lead. And here's Wilson coming back, 3-0. That'll walk him. You know, we haven't seen our pitchers have control problems really this yeah. year, for the most part. Sometimes it just happens. Quit convening with Coach A and Wilson. So it looks like Fletcher is done. He's getting sent and out. And Henry Shooter is coming in. I mean, actually, Fletcher did a great job coming in and getting out of that mess in the first inning yeah. when that game could have really gotten away from us. So that's going to bring in Henry Shooter. He's a sophomore. This is his seventh game pitched. He's thrown 14 and two-thirds innings. He's 0-2 so far this season with one save and one save opportunity. He's given up 11 hits, eight runs, eight earned. And let's see, we'll get you a strikeout total for him. Strikeout and walks. Looks like Mr. Shooter has 17 strikeouts and nine walks. So 17 strikeouts in the 14 and two-thirds innings. He's got a 2.86 ERA and a whip, which is walks and hits, divided into innings pitched, of 1.36. Fletcher Wilson will end his night with 19 pitches thrown. So 23 for Pizanka in the first inning, 19 for Fletcher Wilson here in the second. But there's got to be, I would think, some level of concern that you're two innings in and you've already yeah. had to go through two pitchers. Yeah, 100%. I was just thinking that, David, you're going to need some innings here from Henry. And I'm not sure where you go after this. You can go to Besa. He should be available. You've got Aiden Leonard, Ty Schreiber, Logan Kinney. But to your point, you don't want to get into this. What we need is we just need to find the strike zone, let our defense play some fundamental baseball. And we've got their three, four, five hitters coming up. Mm -hmm. Going to be a big test here for Henry Shooter. Henry's got a lot of skill. Really enjoyed watching him so far this year. Alan, he's coming into a situation here where you've got Oaks at first. You do have a one out in your back pocket, but you've got to come up with something and kind of find a way to stop this bleeding that's going on right now and, and provide an answer at the mound. If you love baseball, it is opening day weekend for the major leagues. Get all the baseball you can handle. Yeah, the Yankees took the Astros today, unfortunately. Astros had a lead, gave it up late. Other games around the district, Anderson and Westlake are playing. 0-0, zero, zero, top of third at Westlake. Two-one count here for Ethan McLean. The two-one. Pop that one foul. And that'll get over the net into the softball field. Right behind us. That's exactly right. 
best part of it is my car is not in danger by any stretch of the imagination. We do have a little hike here, don't we? Yeah, a little bit. One of these days, maybe Vibe will have a cruise <laughs> for us where we just come that, and it's all know, set up for that, us. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe Merle will make that happen. And this one will find the gap in the right center. There's the throw to the cutoff, and that'll advance. Oaks will take third. McLean with a base hit. Gets you out to first. So. In the first and third scenario here yeah. with her four hole Thornton. Well, he walked last time up. <clears throat> Comes back here, 1 0 on Thornton. Here's the 1 0. It's going to come back 2 0. That'll find the zone. 2 1 here. All the pitching tonight having a little tough time finding the strike zone, it seems. So the 2-1 after Shooter faked the throw to third, comes back over to first trying to catch him sleeping, and he'll come up here 3-1. And that'll walk him. Base is loaded. Now, the good news here, as Scott comes and talks with Henry Shooter, your double play is on. It puts you in that double play position so you can get those two out. Try to keep something here from scoring. Here's Gus Kane. Hit a massive triple in his last time out. And you got Pizanka in a little tight here too. Yeah, I think that their play is home and first, but you know, I'm not too sure on this turf that I'd be playing up on what would be the grass. Right. right. I think if you're playing even with the bag, you got plenty of arm over there on both bases if they want to, to make that play. Especially with a good hitter like Cone up when you yourself a chance to react to the ball. High pitch here. The 1-0. That's pitch number nine here. Here's a number 10 for Shooter. The 1-0 wind up. Doesn't find the zone there either. It's 2-0. Still only the one out. Shooter. 3-0. That'll find the zone. 3 1. Here's the wind up on the 3 1. This one, it's driven deep into left center. Catch is made. Basa ranged all the way over as your cutoff, man. The problem with that is he's not the cutoff man. The ball in left field. 
Yep. Uh, that should be All right. Which is why should have been make that throw, exactly. Throw to third, not going to get there in time from plate. It's a good pitch to run on. That was a yeah. ball in the dirt. By the time it bounced and Sarge picked it up, and the base is stolen. This one gets chopped right back to the mound, and... Throw that one to the plate, and that will score two off the base hit. So up comes Gonzalez. Here's Henry Shooter. Man, still really struggling to find the zone. All of them tonight. That one's high. 1-0. Looks like Kenny. This one's going to hit hit over to right. Unberhagen going to make the throw to the plate. Lunging. Got him. Umberhagen loaded up with a cannon. Scott came in and had to dive back to make the tag. But it will stop the bleeding there and retire the side. Coming in, top of the third when we return. Beauty Johnson with another big inning. They'll go up 8-3. to three. Top of the third, right after this. Cheer on your Austin High School baseball team and enjoy the spring season with ease thanks to Terrytown Pharmacy. We're not just a pharmacy, we are a neighborhood health hub offering prescription services, immunizations, home delivery, and a charming selection of gifts for any occasion. Whether you're celebrating a win or supporting a player, find the perfect gift and keep your health in check at Terrytown Pharmacy. Let's celebrate health, wellness, and community spirit together. This is James Scott, and you're watching Austin High Baseball on Vibe Live Network. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott here from the broadcast booth. Our shooter gets us out of that second inning there. 15 pitches. Here's a wind up at the plate right now, of course, is it's shooter. shooter. 
he would he's in the place of Contreras. We, hmm. uh, we lost our DH when um, Coach put Pozonka. Yeah, yeah. yeah, put Pozonka at third and yeah. uh, put uh, pulled Kenny. Okay. All right. So, 0 oh, 2. I'll get out, sign, come back, 1 2. Mm -mm. Or we're burning through players here, and it's only the top of the third. Yeah. Eight to three lead here for Buta Johnson. And that will catch him looking. 66 mile an hour big hook. That brings up Pazanka, who doubled to lead off the second. Got that big rally for us yeah. going. Let's do it again. Pazanka driving this out, and it'll fly foul down the right field line. Zonka. Foul ball. Fouls that one off as well. Chopper foul down the third baseline. It's my best Harry Carey. He's not a very good one. <laughs> I used to get a kick out of Harry Carey trying to say Ken Caminetti's name. He could not pronounce Caminetti to save his life. But that was some of the charm of Harry Carey. Zonka takes time here. Who was your favorite announcer, baseball announcer growing up? Or did you have one? I don't know that I ever really had one, to be honest with you. Drop. It's Pizanka. No, it's not. Drives that out in the shallow left. And shortstop gets underneath it. I tell you, there are a lot of great ones out there. Vin Scully. Of course, yeah. known. And so when I lead off the game with a uh, pull up a chair, it's time for Maroon Baseball. That's a right. tip of the hat yeah. to Vin Scully. I hope everybody understands that. <laughs> if you don't know who Vin Scully is, please Google him. Swing and a miss there for Ty Schreiber. Schreiber scored last time up, got on on a fielder's choice at play at Pazonk at uh, third. Milo Hamilton, a good one, especially in his prime. That's going to be a strike on the outside part of the zone. That's where the Holy Toledo call comes <laughs> from. Now, he's not the only one that says Holy yep. Toledo, but that's where that comes from. There's a method to the madness, folks. Method to the madness. Mel Allen, old Yankees announcer, and when I was a kid, who did uh, This Week in Baseball. Okay, TWIB, okay. This Week in Baseball. Okay. How about that? That's where that came from. Jack Buck, of course. His son, Joe, Joe Buck, Buck is, yeah. is big now. When I was a kid, Tony Kubak and Joe Garagiola had the game of the week. Yeah, I love listening to those two. And I think now you're going to have Joe Buck take all those big games that ESPN's going to have. It's part of his deal with them. I would mm. think. I don't know entirely. As down goes Schreiber swinging. So, three up, three down. Top of the third. When we return, we've got, looking up here, Schnabel will be at the plate. And we'll see if there's a pitching change on the other side.
cheer on your Austin High School baseball team and enjoy the spring season with ease thanks to Terrytown Pharmacy. We're not just a pharmacy, we are a neighborhood health hub offering prescription services, immunizations, home delivery, and a charming selection of gifts for any occasion. Whether you're celebrating a win or supporting a player, find the perfect gift and keep your health in check at Terrytown Pharmacy. Let's celebrate health, wellness, and community spirit together. Welcome back in, David Roy, James Scott here from the broadcast booth at Beauty Johnson High School. Austin High got out there, top of the second, was able to score three, but then they could not do so there in the top of the third. Had three up, three down, two strikeouts, and Pizanka on the line out over to short there. We need a quick inning right here. Schnabel back up. Eight hole hitter, 0 for 1. Uh, shooter will stay here on the mound to get us going. So we'll see if Austin High can drum up a scoreless half inning here for Buta Johnson. They'll start well inside here. Go ball one. The 1 0 wind up. High. 2 0. You know, our pitching's been the best element of our team the entire season. This is the first game that I feel really, really feel like we're off for whatever reason on the mound. This one drive out deep left, ranging back with the big grab there. And Leonard. That's yeah, nothing but a fly out. The left and right field distance here in Buta is 315. That ball only went about. 295, something oh. like that. It was a big fly, big fly in the ballpark, not a big fly home run. Center field somewhere around probably 370, 375 maybe. Looks like maybe a 20-foot batter's eye. Gannon Plummer, left fielder, was hit by a pitch last time up. Go one. Nice curveball at 72 by Henry Shooter. If you hear the screams of the <laughs> confused off in the distance, the wanny wails of despair, there is a soccer game going on in the other field just behind our uh, right field line here. I thought that was our fans screaming uh, for us like we were the Beatles or something. Yeah, you no? know, no, 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 no. Yeah, Trust right. me, we would know if it was us. <laughs> Yes, we would. <laughs> that one would be hard to miss. <laughs> Those fans are at home. Oh, well, you actually have some. Well, that's no, good. Oh, I'm not sure I do. I have one at home, but she doesn't listen often. <laughs> per perks of tax season, I guess. Sure. A one two count here. One away on the fly out to left. Oh, there you go. A little foul ball. Doesn't matter. Change, keeps the count the same. Yep. Well, hey, talking about fans, if you guys want to hit us up, shoot us a note at ahsmaroonbaseball at gmail.com. Let us know where you're listening to. Show us the love. We're not the soccer team. We don't have all those fans cheering for us. But at ahsmaroonbaseball at gmail.com, you could let us know you're listening and enjoying, hopefully. Shooter. Pitch well outside. James Scott got a lunge for it. Good news about the holiday weekend. It's going to be a, a little extra day of rest for everybody out here because James Scott especially going to need it behind the plate right now as that one caught Plummer looking. Yeah, they still have school tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. Do they really? I'm pretty sure. 
He, that, depending on what day it is, I never understand A day, B day, C day, or whatever. He might get to sleep in a little extra, but I'm not sure. They're going to need it. Probably won't get to bed until 11, 11.30 tonight. That one will find his own inner shooter. All right, there you go. He's finding Settling the groove now. Yes, bit. sir. Yes, sir. Shooter with a C-H, so C-H-U-T-E-R. Down low, does not find the zone, just misses in the basement. A 1-1 one, one count. That one. Ground over to short, throw to first in time. And that'll retire the side here. So a little ground out over to first. And I'll bring us in here to the top of the fourth when we return. You're watching the Austin High live stream on YouTube, courtesy of Ipe Media. Real estate companies come and go in Central Texas, about as fast as the wildflowers in spring. But when you're looking for a house, you're looking for a place to put down roots, a place to call home for years to come, which means you need a realtor with roots in the community, like Tate Property. Tate Property is a family-owned real estate brokerage located in Terrytown. We grew up here, we live here, and we work here, representing buyers and sellers of Austin's finest luxury homes, investment properties, and farm and ranch retreats. This is our passion. Give Tate Property a call at 512-474-8283. That's 512-474-TATE. Or look up online at tateproperty.com and let us know how we can help you today. Tate Property, exceptional homes, exceptional service. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott here from the broadcast booth. Jack Umberhagen going to get things rolling here to kick off the fourth inning. And he'll start taking this one. 0-1. 65-mile-an-hour curveball. Sixty four mile an hour straight change. Put Umberhagen down 0 2 here on the count. He singled in the second. It was part of that big three run rally we had. That went down low. Go one two. Number Hager said to go to Schreiner next year. Well outside here, 2-2. Two, two. We need another rally here. Can't think of a better guy to start us off than the Lumberjack himself. Trailing by five, thanks to a four-run second inning by Buta Johnson. Go to that top half of that inning. Austin High comes out of there just trailing by one after a four-run first on a night where Austin High has burned through. Good eye. Two pitchers there. Umberhagen will walk. Way to go, Lumberjack. He started that count 0-2, worked it back to a walk. Great job. Here's Jaden Besa. He's singled in the second. He's one for one. And Reeves on deck and then back to the top. And Besa will chop that right back at the mound. 
That'll advance Elmer Hager over to second. They, that caught him right on the hands. It's a little weak ground ball to second base, but Unberhagen does move up. So coach talking to Charlie. Now you got to believe. Let's see where the first and third baseman play here. This may be one of an option play. If Reeves reads first and third back, then you may lay one down. See if he can beat it out. That one gets popped high into the air. And third base sitting right there for it. All right, that's okay. Javi Godinas still got a run in the scoring position, so a base hit should score the Lumberjack. Go for a ball here. 1 0. And this one will stay downstairs. 2 0 on the count. Looks like Dursky's fastball sitting low 80s, curveball in the mid 60s, mid to upper 60s. He hits There's that, that one, one off the fist, drop. Base, uh, yes, sir. Oh, it's foul ball. Foul ball. Mm. And it's just to the right of that foul line down in right field. Thought it might have stayed in, but just falls just outside. Home plate umpire called that one, too, and he had the best view of it, although the first baseman had to be blocking yeah. his view. Good job on making the right call. I wish yeah, it had have gone our way, <laughs> believe me, but it was the right call. So I'll go strike one. This there one, you go. I'll chop it right Scoring. back to the mound here. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. We're going to have a little play of the – Play? Oh, no, no. They, well, there was a play at the plate, just a wrong one. Javi Godinas tried his luck, and he will get out at second. So that'll take us down now to the bottom of the fourth. Austin High still trails 5-0 when we return. Do you need a haircut? A real haircut? One that's tapered or blocked, clipped or trimmed just the way you like it? Come let the licensed barbers at the Sportsman's Barbershop take care of you. The Sportsman's Barbershop is a friendly, no-frills neighborhood barbershop located in Austin's Brikerwood area. Our barbers specialize in traditional haircuts for men and boys, along with beard trims and straight razor shaves. The trophies and mounts donated by customers that line the barbershop walls serve as testaments to over 60 years of serving Austin. Give the guys a call, 512-459-9525 to schedule your appointment today or look us up online at sportsmansbarbershop.com. The Sportsman's Barbershop, an Austin institution. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott here live from Buda Johnson. Appreciate everybody tuning in here on a Thursday night as opposed to Friday, courtesy of the holiday weekend. Happy Easter holidays to all of you from all of us. And happy Easter to you, David happy Roy. Happy Easter to you, sir. You going to work tomorrow? Maybe a little bit, but it's not mandatory. That's the good part. Sure. I think I'm going to take the vast majority of the day off. That is my mentality. There's a couple things I'd like to get done, but nothing pressing, certainly. You know, I believe if, I, if my numbers were right, I think our roster is at 17 right now. Mm -hmm. 
It was at 18 to start the year. We added Bird. Daryl Jones decided to part ways. That took us back down to 18. Yeah. We did move Jason Martinez back down to JV. I think Jason has a heck of a future and can play at this level, can play at this level right now. He just wasn't getting that bats. And, you know, my thought on sophomores, I know Coach Riley agrees and probably Coach A2, if they're not going to play on a consistent basis, it's better for them to play at JV level and get a lot of reps. That's how you get better versus, um, you know, just viewing from the dugout. Jason's a great player, and he's got a lot to contribute, and he may contribute to this game, this team, before this season's yep. over. Foul tip. So we've got, I guess that's 17 guys, yep. right? 17, yep. 19, 18, 17. We have burned through a lot so far. Now, in high school, they can re-enter the game. Another foul ball, 79-mile-an-hour fastball by Shooter. Couple of fouls. Quickly ahead, 0-2 to Brindley Oaks, the second baseman. He's walked his first two times up. best part, I think, from a good news standpoint is finally here as Shooter comes out wild, a little bit there out of control outside. The, the good news about it, I would say, is you've got, after the early struggles that all three pitchers had, Shooter has settled in. Yeah. You know, it, it took him a little bit, took a couple, couple innings there a little bit, but he has settled in. Pretty nicely, and as I say that, he throws one way up high. Two two count. Shooter. Gets him out. Looking. That was a front door curveball. That started right at him, broke right over the plate. Looks like that uh, coach cam or whatever that they're using, pitch com, I guess it's called, yeah. needed to be adjusted there on Scott. <laughs> Ethan McLean, shortstop, one for two. Three-hole hitter. He singled back in the second and scored. And the pop fly back in the first for Scott to get underneath it. Looks like we have 50 of our closest friends and counting watching the game here on our YouTube stream. Thank you all for listening. Appreciate everybody tuning in, sticking with us here this evening. The sun has fully set now. The black skies of the night linger overhead. Thought you were going to break out into stars are bright. Uh, not quite. Deep in the heart of Texas. Can't, can't see any stars right now. From not with the lights on. No, yeah. no, certainly not. But that, that inky black sky overhead looms over Buta Johnson's field here, much as that five-run lead. Hey, we just lost six viewers, so I think they wanted you to sing the Stars oh. of Ryan. Come on, David. we got to get you out of your shell, man. That's driven There's deep into left field. That is over Aiden, Aiden Leonard's Leonard. head and hitting home run. That is out run. of the park. Mm. Home run. That one left field's about 315. That looked like it had good enough distance for maybe about 318, maybe 320.
Well, he squared up on that one, but you know what? Shooter's throwing strikes. And given everything that's happened so far today, we like seeing that. So one away and another run tallied here for Buta Johnson. Here's Henry Shooter, the wind up. Swung on, missed. Comes up 0-1. And the 0-1 wind up in delivery. Missed the zone there. Come back 1-1. So 1-1 one, one count, one away, shooter. Ooh. Found the zone. Holy smokes. I went good frame it twice. <laughs> good frame job by James there. Yeah. I mean, that ball looking about six inches outside, but thank God we got the call. I okay, went, then. Uh, I went to taking it twice. That's, mm -hmm. for, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter because Shooter comes back, puts it right down the pipe. Henry's got a great, sharp, breaking curveball that looks like to the hitter it's coming straight for him, and then at the last minute sharply breaks over the inside part of the plate, which is exactly what happened there. He's only 72. His fastball's low 80s right now, so that's a good distance in your off speed. It's almost like a cutter versus a curve. Mm -hmm. Two away, both strikeouts here in the inning. And the only one not was the home run by Ethan McClain. Solo shot. 1 0 here. Comes back. 1 1. If you're just joining us, Buta jumped out to a 4 0 lead in the first. Maroons battled back 4 to 3. Going into the bottom of the second, we've had trouble throwing strikes all day. And that's a foul ball yeah, off of his foot, foul. I believe. So. Buta put up a four spot in the second inning as well, so took an 8-3 to three lead and just had the big home run there by McLean. So up 9-3. to three. We are swinging the bats well today. We just hit into a double play, and we've hit into some line outs and made one base running blunder. Two two count here for Henry Shooter. And the two two. Chop back to the mound. Yep, get up and throw it. Javi Gadinas able yes, to sir. in front of it. Got him out. Gadinas with a great effort to slide over and keep that from leaking into the outfield. That's the kind of play from Javi Gadinas I've been looking for all year. Young man's got a heck of a lot of range, quick feet, and a good arm. That was a very smooth play, elite-level play. Yeah. Slid over, made the grab, but the highlight here in the bottom of the fourth, a solo shot home run out to left field. When we return, top of the fifth on the other side. Real estate companies come and go in Central Texas about as fast as the wildflowers in spring. But when you're looking for a house, you're looking for a place to put down roots, a place to call home for years to come, which means you need a realtor with roots in the community like Tate Property. Tate Property is a family-owned real estate brokerage located in Terrytown. We grew up here, we live here, and we work here, representing buyers and sellers of Austin's finest luxury homes, investment properties, and farm and ranch retreats. This is our passion. Give Tate Property a call at 512-474-8283. That's 512-474-TATE. Or look up online at tateproperty.com and let us know how we can help you today. Tate Property, exceptional homes, exceptional service. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott here in the broadcast booth. 
Top of the fifth here with Austin High trailing by six. Beauty Johnson leading nine to three. We need base runners, we need them now. Sarge is gonna lead us off, James Scott Jr. one for two in the night. Singled in the second, grounded into a double play in the first. That ninth run, if you missed it, Ethan McLean of Beauty Johnson had a solo shot, had a solo homer out to left, and it's a, man, James Scott just taking all kinds of punishment here tonight. That one off the side of his head. I'm gonna check it real quick, but I believe that is the eighth hit by pitch he's got this season. He is approaching an Austin High Maroon record, and I'm not sure that's one that you really want, Drew Anderson now will courtesy run for him. That was his seventh, seventh hit by pitch this season. So Anderson comes in, takes uh, James Scott Jr.'s place at first. And Leonard now at the plate. And he's going to drive oh, this one that, out into big. deep right field. Back oh, the and off the top of the fence. It's off the fence. Anderson. Comes oh, down. hit the weight room, Aiden Leonard. Baby, you needed another foot on that. But that's a heck of a shot into deep right center well, field. It was a really good job, I would say, by the right fielder because it looked like it hit his glove and fell then back into the fence to keep it fair. Hard to tell from this angle, but it's a huge hit from Aiden Leonard. That puts two runs in scoring position. Heck of a shot by Aiden Leonard. Let's go, guys. You got Henry Shooter back up. Shooter struck out last time. He came in when Pizanka came out. We lost the designated hitter. And Shooter fouls this one off, pops it high. Be a heck of a confidence boost for a little base hit right here. 63 mile an hour curveball, swing and miss. Quickly down 0 and 2. The 0 2 wind up. There you go. That one oh. chopped back over to third, and that'll put Shooter away. A hey, nice job of base running over there by Drew Anderson. He started to go stopped, wanted to force the throw over, opposed to running into that out. Good job. So that'll put one away. Still have two runs in scoring position here. And that's a big thing. You know, Anderson not going keeps that the case, keeps your two runs in scoring position. It's very important. Pazanka's one for two, doubled in the second inning to lead off the rally there. Little base hit scores two, would bring the Maroons back to a nine to five score. And a line out just short in his previous bat, uh, previous appearance at the plate. One one count. And fouled out of play. Foul. Heads up over here. Holy smokes. Into the seats behind us. She was protected by the fence in the back of her chair. Good thing she was paying attention. That'd take out <laughs> right in the noggin. And this drop, one. Drop. Popped all mm. the way out to left. And the call came in a little bit late. We did not tag and score on that one. Probably a little shallow for that. Yeah. Last thing you want to do with runners in scoring position is run into an out there. Yeah, Ty Schreiber up. 0 for 2 on the evening. Base hit still scores 2. Swung on, missed here. Yeah, that's a 66 mile an hour curveball.
Ty Schreiber down in the count 0 1. You know, calls time. Good for him. Make sure you're comfortable. This is a big moment in the game. Two away, two runs in scoring position. He hit him. Didn't it hit him? Uh, it came inside. I guess not. Well, it looked like he was coming down on check swing there. Comes back 1-1. One, one. So he didn't come around. Two one on the count here now. That one stays outside, just misses. Schreiber swings, miss that one down low. Hey, we have a red jacket sighting. We got two of them. I'm seeing Kennedy and Clara. A couple of red jackets made the trip down to Buta Johnson. Thank you for supporting your maroon baseball team. 2-2, stays downstairs, comes back 3-2. We're nearly 70 watching now. Ooh, that had to hurt right off, fouled it right uh, off his foot. It, off. it looked like he might have caught a part of his hand too. Unfortunately, I've done that a few times in my life and it does not feel good. <laughs> I will tell you that for sure. Full count, 3-2. It is the payoff pitch right here. Swung on, miss. Down goes Schreiber, swinging, and he'll leave two stranded here in the top of the fifth. When we return, Monteo, Gonzalez, and Schnabel are your hitters to come to the plate. And the bottom of the fifth. We'll be right back on the other side. My missing teeth were in the front. I fell off a roof, messed up my teeth. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. When I first came in, it was so welcoming. I just felt a connection, felt like family. It is worth every penny because you get that peace of mind that everything is okay. I can't stop smiling. Why wait? From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. I just felt a connection like family. I can't stop smiling. From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118 dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again. Welcome back in. David Roy, James Scott here in the broadcast booth. Austin High. Right now trailing nine to three, but James, you brought up a statistic there in the commercial break that fans at home might like to know or may not like to know. I don't know how they'd feel about it. So Austin High has three runs on nine hits, no errors. Johnson has nine runs on five hits, no errors. So we've actually out hit them nine to five, even though we're behind nine to three. The key there is we've walked six batters, and that's just been an absolute killer for us. But defensively, both teams have played pretty well. Mateo well, yeah. at the plate right now to get things started, and he'll start. A little head here in the count, 1-0. Hey, there's 32 different devices watching us. Do us a favor, get us a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll give you the formula for figuring the viewers after this. 1-0. Finds its own, stays true, 1-1. One, one. So it's the industry norm per device, two and a half people on average watch it. So right now we have 31 devices watching, so you take 31, multiply it by two and a half. So that's how we get, and that would be somewhere around 75, 78, off the top of my head, something like that. 1-2 here. Now come down low, down in the basement. 2-2 on the count. 
Important game right here. Anderson, Wesley, Buda, all tied for that fourth spot. We're right behind them. Need to find a way to pull out a victory here. Anderson and Westlake are at Westlake. Two to one Anderson in the bottom of the fourth. Full count here for Monteo. And that'll mm. walk him. Seventh walk of the game. Talk about living dangerously. They have to fix that. That pitch come again. There on the back of. So that's a, it's a device that we've invested in as a booster club this year to allow the coach, Coach Alejandro Arianas mm -hmm. and James Scott to communicate back and forth together on pitches. This one will get sliced foul towards the concession stand there. It's with mixed results right here. one down low outside one one on the count appreciate everybody tuning in like and subscribe you got it you can do it we want to be liked mm -hmm. We do. Maybe a little vain of us, but we, we, we would appreciate it. We're just looking for acceptance. Hey, you know, we just show us a little love. It's, you know, show show your – it's not even just about us, right? You know, show show your team love. Subscribe. Turn on the bell icon. That way you know when we go live for pregame shows, the games themselves. Don't miss a second of it. Don't be that person. In all seriousness um, – we are looking to go monetize our YouTube channel. So okay. it may not be a lot of money, but we're looking to get some money back from YouTube, which goes right into the program, and all the proceeds would uh, help the the team. So if it, you don't have a problem with it, if you can like us, the more likes, more subscribers we have, the more money, more viewers, obviously, more money we're able to make here on the YouTube channel. And so you don't have to do much. All you got to do is watch. Just tune in and watch. This one gets sliced foul. Leonard trying to range over to get there, and it's not even in the park anymore. Henry's done a great job. Last outing was March 8th, which was that game or the day right before we went on break, spring break. Yeah. So for not having pitched live in a game in a while, he's actually done a pretty good job. Full count here for him. This one will get chopped right back over to Jay and Besa, and it will slip through into shallow right. Yeah, that's a line drive that just ate him up over yeah. there. Hard to, you know, you're you're 89 feet away uh, from the batter right there, and he hit a slicing liner right at you. Just hard to react. That goes down as a base hit. Shooter at 63 pitches, 12 this inning. He's thrown two and two-thirds innings. Your shooter outside, but it'll find that part of the zone. 0-1. Oh, hey, we got seven likes now. Okay. Somebody likes us. Count is moving up. Feel free to go ahead and hit us up. AHS Maroon Baseball at gmail.com. Maroon is singular, not plural. AHS Maroon Baseball at gmail.com. Let us know where you're listening to. High pitch here. 
I know at times this season we've been on at Sportsman's Barbershop. They've had a barber shop full of folks yeah. listening in. A lot of Austin High alum there in the chairs getting a kick out of watching their team on TV. Three one count here. Henry needs to be careful, make sure he's pausing when he comes set. If you don't pause for one second, they can call you for a balk. Yeah. That one gets fouled off 3 2. We need a little pitcher's best friend right here, a little double play. Got a somebody call a time. Holy smokes. Oh, that was on the stands. It hit the bleachers behind us yep. here for the softball field. Wasn't sure if you could hear that at home or not, <laughs> but that was. It was loud enough for us. It was a commotion over here, and I wasn't quite sure what happened. Full count here. Runners at first and second. A 3-2. That'll walk them. When the base is loaded, nobody out. We do not have anybody warmed up in the pen, or warming up, I should say. Well, and it looked like earlier Kenny might have been loading up. Yep. Swinton now in, as opposed to Plummer. Thank you for calling that out. So it's John Swinton. He'll take this one. Goes down 0-1 on the count. You know, folks, we talk about like and subscribe, and it's not just for baseball season. Ideally, this would carry over to some of the other athletic offerings, especially kind of coming up here in the fall. But your support is necessary for that to happen. Yeah, the idea would be to take a partnership with Vipe Media throughout all of Austin High Athletics. Mm. Swinton driving this out into the right center field gap. Umerhagen get over there to make the throw back. But it's driving two. There's three. No, just two. Just two? Just two. Just two. Okay. I believe. No, it was bases it was, loaded. You're right. Was, yeah, that is three. No, oh, it's yeah, yeah. two. We got runners at second and third here. That's so three. it only scores two. Okay. Bases were right. loaded. Bases were loaded. But the hitter is on second. But the hitter is on second. Double. But your runner at first is at third. Safe. Safe. You are correct, sir. It's getting late on us, folks. <laughs> 11 to 3. Ay, ay, ay. And no outs. And no outs. Hmm. Well, it was a deep hole. That hole has gotten deeper, and you not have a lot of time left you know, to we've come got, away with this. we got nine outs to score and tie. we got to get three outs here first. Yeah. And we're back to their top of their lineup. Yes, we are. That one gets chopped back over to the mound, and Charlie Reeves can't get over to it. So that base hit will score one more. And I didn't notice, but Drew Anderson went into center field in between okay. games or in, in, in between in, in innings. innings yeah. yeah. So that was a single all the way. That's part of the problem with pulling the infield in. Your fielders don't have enough time to react, but, I mean, that's – You've got to at this point in time. Coach A will come out. I have a little meeting here.
This is not going the way we wanted, obviously. No. The whole game hasn't gone that way. We didn't get it's, much out of Cool Hand Luke. For some reason, he was just off. It, and, and then Fletcher got, came in, did a yeoman's job getting out of it and yeah. getting going in that next inning, but then he just sort of lost it. Um, and then Shooter's done a yeoman's job so far, and he's just perhaps getting tired again. It's been, yeah. you know, two and a half plus weeks since he's uh, last pitched in the game. And nobody's warming up that I see. Now that may change here pretty quickly. You just wonder what tricks Coach A has up his sleeve here. Down nine, no outs. Yeah, this and is heck of a position. Heck of a position to be in. Infield in again. 78 miles an hour fastball on the outside. Goes for a ball. 1 yeah, 0. Westlake's now taking a 4 2 lead over Anderson. Bottom of the fourth. Teams are remaining on your schedule, Westlake being one of them, and then another game against Anderson. That'll be to close out the season, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, next week we have Aikens. Yep. Then we move into, and I'm not sure which order, Westlake and Lake Travis. Yep. Then we come back with Dell Valley and then that one you're talking about yep. with Anderson. Yep. 2-0 count here. Got the call. A 2-1 count. Kind of just see it and shoot her getting tired and I think a little deflated here a little bit. He had 77 pitches and 26 this inning. Yeah. A heck of a curveball he just broke is. off. 72 miles an hour. Very sharp. I'll get him back even here on the count. Two two. Still looking for their first out here of the inning. Shooter. A two two outside and down low. Full count. And you know, we talked about it a couple of times already, but James is working his caboose off yeah. back there. Ball's in the dirt all over the place, lunging left, lunging right, made the great tag to save a run. Runner here will it's a ball. head to yeah. first off the walk. Still no nobody up in the pen. Nobody up in the pen. My guess is, though, at this juncture, I don't know if Besa would be eligible to come in since – yeah, I he need to play it on Tuesday. Do you have the pitch count from Tuesday? I'll check the rules. I, I would think he would certainly be in play if he is. I had base it down at 24. Oh, then he should definitely to be. end the night. So let, my, let me check. My, my theory then would be that depending on how things go here, you pull Besa in to end the night on the mound. But that's operating theory. It is not Ethan McLean at the plate right now. It is not. It is number three. And number three is Bisbee, Devon Bisbee. So we're kind of seeing a mass change up here of the lineup a little bit for Buta Johnson, getting some other guys some playing time here, up nine. Got a call there for a strike. All right, high school pitch count. Zero to 30 pitches, you can come back the very next day. 31 to 45, you got to have one day of rest. And you had base at how many? I am at 24. All right, so he is full to go right here. I 
I, that's the only reason I can think of that you don't have anybody warming up. It's that you would pull Beza from first and put him in if you had to to close out the night. Yeah, the only other options are those that are out there, to your point, not would be not eligible for the bullpen right, right. now would be Aiden or Jaden. So. Yeah. I mean, the only other theory that you could have, too, it could be that you pull Aiden out of the outfield, but you got to put somebody out there, but give Aiden some reps since Jaden did get time on Tuesday. There's a full count of 3 2. Yeah, he's just walk one more. He's just missing uh, wild. And the shooter takes off his glove and walks towards the dugout. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, that's the game. That's what he's saying. That's it. It's a 10 run. 10 run lead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not what we needed or wanted. You got to feel for Henry Shooter. He was obviously gassed there. He ends up throwing 87 pitches by my count. And, he, you know, he is a good player. He's a really good player. He's a sophomore on varsity, and he ne needs to take consolation in that yeah. and not get down on himself. Well, and I think too, kind of from that, th this is a night where there's a lot on tape now, right? There, there's a lot for Shooter to learn from, right? And so, to your point, he is a sophomore. A lot of growth then to come from that for Henry Shooter. A lot to look forward to as a result, right? You get oh, that junior and senior year a lot to look forward to. The shooter maybe kind of jockeys himself, puts himself in a position to kind of be Austin High's ace, maybe even as early as next season with some more work kind of throughout the year this year, you know, continue to work going into the spring come next year. Kind of puts himself in that position. Now, we talk about it, right? This puts you down. Now you were one and five in district coming into tonight. This drops you down one and six. That puts you, you're still a couple games back. Maybe now it's going to drop you down two and a half games back. The caveat or the bright side to it is there's still a few series left to be played, right? You still have some time. You've got the Aiken series. Westlake, uh, I believe Lake Travis still on the schedule as well, and then Dell Valley and Anderson here. So you you have a full month of work left to be had here in April. You're getting to a point though, if you're Austin High, where you may no longer control your own destiny, and that's kind of the territory we're starting to drift towards here. If you are a fan of the Maroons, you are no longer in control of your own fate, or at least may not be Yeah. as yeah. this goes on. To, all right, so let me give you an updated district standings. If we, if the, the scores had um, hold the way they are, obviously Buta just beat uh, Austin High. Westlake has come back and put a seven spot on Anderson, so they're ahead seven to two in the top of the – Fifth, if that game holds, what you'll have is Buta in fourth place at five and four, Westlake in a virtual tie at four and three, Anderson at four and five. So Austin High would be two and a half games behind Buta. So what that does is obviously it puts, and and this is no shock to anybody, the series next week with Aikens we have to sweep. Yeah. No if ands or buts about that. I cannot remember whether we go to Westlake or to Lake Travis after that. We have got to at least split with Westlake, come back and take the series from Dell Valley. If we do that, that would be six wins. You've got Anderson there. That could potentially be a seventh win. You have to win that. It's probably going to take nine wins to get that fourth spot possibly eight there's just so many teams bunched up there fighting for that four spot you got to hope that buta westlake 
Anderson keeps splitting, and we've got to we've got to go win some series to get in there. You're gonna need a little help, right? As part of that too, it's that's what it's turning into, right? That you're going to need help. So the good news to it is, right? As we keep saying, the music has not stopped. There is still a chance in this game of musical chairs that you can have a seat by the time it's over. But you're going to need a little bit of help, and you're going to need some of the people ahead of you to mess things up. Yeah. I want to correct myself. I said we would be two and a half games out. We'd actually be three games out at one and six in, in district now. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got to go out. We have to sweep Aikens next week. No yeah. ifs, ands, or buts. And if we don't, um, we're probably not going to – fight for the four spot. I right. mean, that's just the way it is. So, not the night that you'd like as Buta Johnson will take the series here um, with a big win here tonight, 13-3, to three, final and five. And that will put the nail in the coffin there a little bit. Still an opportunity for Austin High, but as we kind of talk about, now you have been backed up to the edge of the cliff. And you have to fight to make sure that you do not fall over the edge and keep your ground within this district. That sets up really big games next week, um, something that Coach A, I'm sure, understands the importance of and the gravity of, something these players understand, that turn around, you, you've kind of found yourself now into a little bit of a skid um, coming out of that tournament back up in Leander. What's the answer now going to be? Because now you have lost four straight, been swept twice now in two different series. Something's going to have to give. Now, tonight, it looked improved in some of the metrics that we talked about. Hitting especially seemed vastly improved from what we'd seen a week ago, even a couple weeks ago. But then you have some, some blunders within the base running itself. And then just an off night from your entire bullpen. I mean, from from start to finish, just out of sync all over the place. And just, it, it looked like, too, we talked about it, Shooter maybe got a little bit more comfortable, but he never fully seemed to settle in and continued to struggle um, finding the zone throughout the night. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, true. It, that's kind of tough to, to lay off actual game action for a couple of weeks and then get thrown into the fire you know we were put into or coach a was put into a very very tough position by the challenges that uh, luke had to start to the game so uh phil for the guys he's great kids backs up against the wall we get to come out to swing and so not a better bunch of kids i'd rather come out uh swinging with so let's see what happens next week with akins We'll be back next Tuesday, uh, and we will get things going there. I believe that's another late start, if I'm not mistaken there. Um, but we will be back, and we will keep you all apprised of the schedule. Um, so keep an eye out. We'll post you ahead of time, let you know ahead of time on the YouTube channel. So, again, very important that you like and subscribe. And that will do it for us. On behalf of all of us from Vite Media and the Austin High YouTube crew, we will say so long from Buta Johnson with a final score of 13-3 to in the favor of Buta Johnson. And we will see you next week for the Austin High Aikens uh, series starting on Tuesday night. So long, everybody. Have a good night and have a happy Easter holiday from all of us. My missing teeth were in the front. I fell off a roof, messed up my teeth. I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental Professionals. When I first came in, it was so welcoming. I just felt a connection, felt like family. It is worth every penny because you get that peace of mind that everything is okay. I can't stop smiling. Why wait? From implants to full mouth restoration. Go to 8118dentalimplants.com to see how we can help you smile again.
I would be talking and my tooth would just fall out. That's when I turned to 8118 Dental.